So welcome back to some more Duel Links Ranked PvP, this time we're going in of course with the brand new Rush Duel mode and we're playing Dark Magician Pile because so many decks on ladder right now are just draggy ass sevens row, Yamru with a pile decks and that's kind of the meta, is generic good stuff beatdown and at the moment we've not really seen any of our boss cards which is not too great but let's go for Dealer first of all and get a bit more draw power in right, discarding the Dark Sorcerer in for a DMG Again, you don't want to see her turn 1, because you want to play the skill to kind of recycle around. So, let's go for Dark Sorcerer. Let's summon into the Thunder the Thunder. And we're going to put out the Road Witch over the Mystic Dealer. I don't like doing this, but I feel like it's the only play right now that kind of makes sense. Because I really want to summon this next turn, and be able to crash with a Dragias or a Seven's Road. In for Rice Terror Secure. Okay. Bye, Golem. Are you going to put my cast defense? You're not. Straight for the Dragias, of course. The best card in Duel Links since in Rush Duel and Duel Links. It gives you so much value. Let's see, draw four. We have got Seven's Road, of course. When we wanted it, we don't see it. Ah, uh, let's go our skill. Let's go and put our DM into our hand and put him into the graveyard. At least here we can clear this right. Send you down. We can then go summon into the Fire Golem. We can trude off in for our DMG. Let's go for you first of all. And then summon Gazelle. And then go for Seven's Road. It can beat over this. This will be incredibly fine. One, two, Seven's Road, Magician the Boss of Yuga Odo. Very, very cool animation. Summoning in. Here we go. Play the effect. Mill some cards. We've got 36. Oh, big attack points. So here we can do. No, we're not gonna we're not gonna risk it, right? We're just gonna go in. Build damage. 25. 15. There we go. 900 life points left on Yuga. But it's rushed all. Anyone can make a comeback in this situation, which is really, really cool. And I know day one of Duel Links, right, so far, there's not much interaction. We've got Phantom Bind, and that's about it. And no one's really playing it, because you're seeing on ladder so many mishmash decks, like us, right? We're playing a bunch of spellcasters, sure. But also, we've got Thunder, we've got Dragon, and we've got Beast. And there we go, we've got our first win. On to game number two. And game two versus a Luke again. The cool thing about Rushdoor though, is you don't know what skill they're playing by the character. There's so many skills they could play, each. And also there's the, the new archive skills, right? That can be played on anyone. And we're going second so we can play our DMG second. Get 25. She's better than the Summer Skull that way. Will you end on a drag? Yes, I can clear. Because that'll be really cool. If we can get rid of that. Now, I do want to try Dragons. Because I played Duel a minute ago where I got blasted by the spell card. Rather right? Dragonic Pressure. Just nuking my board. Summon some draggy ass, attacking directly, wins the game. That seems fun. But I've seen some people floating around online with the idea that playing three draggy ass isn't actually the way forward. It's playing the default skill that gives you the draggy ass and the dragonic um, slayer right for free and play three copies of the recurrer of the phoenix dragon. That could be a free to play strat. That could be the best way to play a deck. But no, he's on seventh road and he's got the turn one combo in for seventh row magician. We've just got to clear it. And it seems we're going to be able to, right, uh, for the DMG, for the DM, we'll send the DM to the graveyard to make our DMG even stronger. We can then go for the Mystic Dealer. Unfortunately, not many spell casts are hands, so our recovery force is kind of dead for the moment, but it does mean we get a full draw 5 next turn, which is fine. And we can't clear everything, which again is, is kind of annoying. And it does leave him with his Road Witch, which can get him into another body. But I think we do want to clear the Seven's Road here. Because that's a bit more important, I think. Do you play the witch? You do! Okay, you drew the second Seven's Road. Of course you did. Discarding Kreebot, very cool, future turns. In for Seven's Road, it's like nothing changed at all. Gonna be milling, getting some attack points. Okay, going to combat. Gonna be dealing me, what, a decent chunk of damage here. Not too bad though, 500 there. Taking 8 from this, and then 15 from the Masaki. And hopefully, I'll draw 5 rewards us again. Seven's Road, please. We've got, we've got Torna. Okay, that 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 does work. We've got double Thunder the Thunder, so we're not in an awful spot. And also, we have got this right. We we can use our spell card, but I don't want to bring back DM. But I think I kind of have to, right? I have to kind of go for Recovery Force. Can be targeting these three because I do want a chance of either seeing DM or seeing a Seven's Road. There we go. Actually, that works out. That, that was great. Play the skill, because it's not once per duel. Dump you to the hand. 
dump you back into the graveyard. God, I love this combo. We can then go for Thunder the Thunder. We can then go play the effect to go and send to the graveyard a Gazelle to go and weaken. I guess we'll go for the Masaki. Why not? We can then summon into DMG over this. We can then summon to the Torn of the Wind Weaver. There we go. Summon our Gazelle. We're going to have to crash, but that's fine. Attacking for one. Attack in for two. And then crashing with Torna into the Witch. Okay. Summons one. Summons two. Go on. Summon Draggy Ass. Do it. Play animation. I'm waiting. Show me it. There we go. There's the boy. The best card in Duel Links. He's finally arrived in this duel. Multi-Strike Dragon Draggy Ass. I... I kind of wish Konami made the aces like limit one, you know, like as like one copy in the game to be kind of true to the anime and not be three copies. But at the same time, I was about to say, if you if you also had a card in hand to go into this, then I would be really, really annoyed. But all rides on this draw and we've got what a what a what a what a hand, right? What a hand. Mystic Dealer. Dealer discarding the DMG to draw one in for Fire Golem. There we go. In for the Sevens Road Magician. Now, if we can use the effect of our guy here. So we're going to go Sevens Road to Mill. We're then going to play Recovery Force to go and grab back uh, one, two, and uh, I guess we'll go for ADMG. Why not? We want to see a normal summon. Please, Konami. Thank. Of course. Of course. When you don't want to see it, you see it. Here we go. This is going to be risky because I don't think we have game on board, right? Or do we? We don't, right? Nine. Are we really 100 life points away from game? Like, a Sevens Road wins here. A Draggy Ass wins here. That is that is so rough. Which, if you use the effect, is going to be a bit weird. You are. So maybe you've got some weaker bodies. Discarding Summon Skull. You go Draggy Ass. 100% Draggy Ass is coming down now. 100%. Go on. Tripping him off. Summon him. Do it. In for multi strike dragon draggy ass. Now, do you have another card? Don't have another card in hand. No, a dark sorcerer. Oh, of course, of course. Well, that, that is rushed all, right? Anyone can make a comeback anytime. Okay, on, on to game number three. But you can see draggy ass is very good. <laughs> he is very good. Let's see. Going first. Not the greatest hand either. Oh, that is really not a good hand. Oh lord, that is that is awful. We've got to go for Torna Pass, right? That's literally the best move we can do. To draw some cards next turn is you pass. Oh, that's not good. And this is also one of the, the downsides of Rush right at the moment, is that you're seeing the same cards over and over again. Because all the good stuff is just the same cards, right? And so we only got, I think, 100 and something cards on day one, when I think a lot of people were kind of expecting 200 plus. So in for a drag, yes. Right, milling a drag, yes. That's good. What us to worry about? Fantastic. But you are going to get a, a crap ton of damage in. Now, if we don't see a normal summon, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose it. I meant more than one. Uh, That is really, really bad. This is the rare brick. The rare giga brick. Drag gets attack in. Attack with summon skull. Do it. Don't do drag gas, you cringe. Okay, okay, one win, two losses, let's see what game four has to offer. And so here we go, game four, a mirror match, a uh, mirror match I guess, versus Yuga. Let's see, we're going second, we like to see it, like to see it. Now show me, oh, now show me DMG, show me DM, show me none of the cards I want to see. That is not fantastic. I mean, we've got draw power, right, in Dealer, into Fire Golem, and he's setting a card, setting... What, uh, did he, did he break? Did he, did he, three, hello, Th three back row, one set, are we, are we, are we back in 2006, like, no, he's going for a set, what, 17 defense, right, we can't clear with his hand at all, but we can try, go for a dealer, discarding fire golem, in for the dark magician girl, we can now clear it, we're now in the clear, let's reveal you, add hand the DM, and go and send the DM to the graveyard. Just I, I it's such a such a neat little combo. Let's summon Thunder Thunder, summon the Gazelle, go for DMG. I kinda we'll keep we'll keep Thunder, right? You know, that's fine. 
go and set you for next turn, attacking 25 into you. You've got Phantom Bind, which is going to be three Seventh Road Witch face down. Okay, so you are a setting your one of your best cards face down turn one kind of guy. Okay, I can respect it. I'm still not sure, again, on what the best turn one play is, right? Is it just setting a back row unless you've got Dragas access, or is it, you know, actually going in for multiple boys in attack mode? Force going to be sending three back to the deck to draw one. With five in hand, have you still not seen your seventh row? Dark Sorcerer comes out. He's coming. Come on. Show me double tribute. In for Dragas. In for the Sevens Road Magician. Here we go. Look at this boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Coming down to the field in attack mode. Gonna be pumping himself up. Gonna be attacking in. Gonna be destroying my DMG. It is gonna be a good time for him. 27, so just barely strong enough. Darkness of. That is a really bad card. Discarding Damage and Girl and Phantom Bind to book one of my guys. Sure. Recovery Force. I, I guess I, I'm really confused on that on, on that line of play there. Really confused on that one. But we'll see what he drew into. Nothing or one tribute. And we've got two copies of which. Which doesn't help us. And we're gonna go and put one, two, three back in the deck. Because our skill. Can change the DM to DMG. We've got Torna, which is really, really good. So let's go play Torna, summon you, go to you, and then we'll go and discard. I guess here is probably going to be one of our witch right. Fugitive defense. We'll then summon into a gazelle. We will. Uh, uh, so if he's got Phantom Bind face down, then we do want one more rogue witch right to clear it. So summon you, and then we should be good, right? This should be fine. Attacking in. We are going to miss Lethal. 15, 15. There we go. End our turn. Come on, Yuga. You've got it. You've got the power to draw four, to make a comeback, and going for his own Tauner. Okay. So what do you put into defense when I assume he would go for my own Tauner? Right, try and clear each other. Recovery force, sending three back to deck to draw one. Dealer getting a draw one by discarding one. And he's playing the splat. Okay, but he's not playing the skill though. He is, he just decided, he just has another chance to use it, okay. This skill's really cool. You can now play, ooh, in four sevens road as well. I was kinda thinking drag yes then, you know, that'd have been huge, but we at least survived this. At least survive. Four cards to see one of our bosses, here we go. We have got, very, very nice indeed. Let's go for Fire Golem. Let's summon into our sevens road magician. Here we go, one, two, summon our boy. We've got what well, a graveyard. One, two, three, four. A lot of a lot of them. Okay. There we go. Mill you. We'll then play recovery force. Because I do want to attempt to find a beta that can get rid of his tauna. Let's see. That is not one. But it does get us ever so closer to seeing one. So we'll discard you. Come on. There we go. Play our skill. It is it is over. It is so over. Add to hand DMG. Gonna discard the DM. There we go. That is that is lovely. Summon the Dark Sorcerer. Summon into the Darmishan Girl. And there we go. That is going to be an easy clap game. Attacking in. There's for one. It was game anyway. Okay. Okay. On to the final duel. Game number five. Here we go. The final duel again. A Yuga. So we've not seen a Gavin today. Which is a bit disappointing. But let's see, going first, winner will gain a rank, we'll go to gold 4 I think it is, so not too long to wait until King of Games, and we've not opened awful, you know, this this isn't actually awful, it does mean we've got to kind of splash our hand a little bit turn 1, but I think this is fine, let's go for you, we'll play Road Witch, gonna discard Recovery Force, summon it to the DM, and we're gonna not, def oh no, no, I, m I, I misclicked, no, that's gonna be that's gonna be so important. He's gonna summon a drag ass. Like 100 percent Right? If I get drag assed here, and it would have had to crash with that, I'm gonna be so so pissed. Do not do it, Yuga. Do not. Summon Seven's Road. It'll be fine. But don't do drag ass, please. Please don't. Oh, of course. Oh, he would have had to crash it. And there's the witch of his own. At least we get five draws next turn, but still, that's so. 
annoying. That's so annoying. Because now we've got to find a crash for this. And we happen to find it, actually. So it's, it's not all bad, right? We can go Thunder Thunder. We can go into Gazelle. Go into Dark Sorcerer. And just, just unload our hand, right? You know, into the DMG. In for the Seventh Road Magician. And <laughs> I, just, I, I, I super enjoy this format. You know, I super enjoy it. I know it's not going to be for everyone, right? There is a lack of interaction in the format, but that's kind of why I enjoy it as well, is that I can just, like, play my turn, I can do something else, my opponent can then play their turn, and I've just got to react to see what happens, right? You know? Uh, so, it is fun in that regard. He's playing Legend Draw, so he's playing Summon Skull probably, which means he has got a way to clear my Seventh Road, but not necessarily the DMG. Oh, now he has got the DMG access, right? But has he got enough for two? Have you got a Seventh Road of your own or a Drag? Yes, discarding Yamirula, to me, means you have got access to Drag, yes. But no, you've got two cards in hand. Wait, no, you still can, right? You've got Summon Skull and Drag, yes. No, just Summon Skull. Okay, that is right. And Seventh Road Witch, which doesn't really do much for you. And we draw for five. And we've got our own Seventh Road once again. Very cool. Let's go for our Mystic Dealer. Discarding Fire Golem. In for a Gazelle. We'll summon the Gazelle. That was not the correct play, but I think we're fine here, right? One, two. In for Seven's Road. We can then play the skill of you. We can then... Oh, no. I kind of wanted that for next turn, but sure. Uh, let's recur back one, two, and... Uh, you know, maybe actually we'll go for a Tauner. Why not? I guess. One, two, three. See what we'll draw into. Hopefully. It's a good card. Dark Magician Girl. There we go. One, two. That is going to be game on board. And, and a very nice duel, sir. Attacking with one. Attacking with our seventh round magician. And go for our final blow with Dark Magician Girl. There we go. That is it. Duel links rush duels are here. They're very fun. You're going to see more of it on the channel. And let's go to the deck list real quick. And there we go. Gold four. We're just one step away from gold five. And then super close to our king of games climb. I think we might do it with psychics. I'm not too sure yet. That's going to be the next deck I kind of try out, so uh, look forward to that. But let's go to the deck editor first of all, and check what we're kind of playing around with. So, this is the build. It is pretty, um, it looks a mess, right? We're playing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 level spellcasters, which is not super duper great, but the real goal with these is to recur your DMGs or recur your witches, because you do want to see that 7 zone access, and the DM you very, very rarely summon him. Right, I think we summoned him once by accident in defense mode, and that was it. Now, I did want to run the, the Dark Magic attack, but there's no back row. So, you know, hitting a Phantom Bind is cool, but it's not super powerful, but I guess over time, it'll get better, right? And once back row becomes super prevalent, then it'll be way better to hold onto the DM, to summon him out, play this, nuke the back row, attack in, that'll be a fun combo. But for now, using this as a way to get out a better summon skull is the only reason you kind of play it. Otherwise, you're better off playing something that lets you play Dragias, yes, right? Because this deck does suffer against that in particular. So uh, so yeah, that is my first thoughts on Rush Duel and Duel Links. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.